Secondly, you adopt your future land use plan. And in order to implement your future land use plan, you'll need to, to change your zoning. The first step in that is talking about the types of districts that you need. We need to have, and I don't cover up, we need a pure retail district, really one that emphasizes pure retail. Uh, we need a pure, uh, pure commercial, Services district, uh, and the overlap between them is in you know office uses. And so um, you need a split between your traditional single-family site-built and your manufactured house. Um, There's such thing as a mixed-use. There are mixed-use. Um, there are mixed use districts. Um, and they're common in, in downtown areas. What I what I recommend usually in the downtown area, because you've got you know smaller lots, um, people who are trying to redevelop uh, a small <coughs> lot in the downtown area uh, will be immensely frustrated with the setback requirements that apply to you. So you either set up a district for them or you give them the, like a, call it an R3 district, and, uh, a tighter multifamily that allows for more density, um, and you can even uh, set the, the setbacks up to be as flexible as possible. So um, as you can say, it has to be the average of the front yard setbacks present on the, on the block, um, so that you don't get into well, I can't can't meet a 25 foot setback here because look at the way. Well, see, like our downtowns will see a lot more. Well, that's fine. Then that, right. that doesn't. Then that maybe that doesn't. Um, yeah. Maybe that's not. Because issue. of that, because yeah, it was right there. Well, that's and that's uh, uh, that works. The other thing to do is just give it uh, the zoning based on to control the use, the types of use that you want to have. So that you don't end up with um, another uh, industrial use, or you don't end up with um, trailer parks or RV parks or the other things that you don't want to have. And then you have what's called an overlay district that says that that covers that. And says okay, well, in addition to these uses, um, you can have. We want to encourage people living downtown, uh, so maybe you can have upper story residential. Mm -hmm. And in addition to what's here, uh, the, the setbacks of the base district multiply, and they're more geared towards what's already on the ground in that area. So that you keep all that character uh, by not forcing, you know, setbacks right. that belong in the suburban environment. You don't force them onto uh, a downtown environment. So an overlay district is a good way to. Suggestions on this. Do you have maps of similar sign cities that have their zoning set out? Uh, that comparable. This this is a problem. This won't make it comparable to any other city. I'm well, well, talking about no. I mean, more this a, area. Is there a, a, a zoning a zoning map? Well, um, like let's say um, so. Buda. Okay. If it were similar to ours, which it kind of yeah. is, we only have 35 rooms, but 
is it already set up or here's our industrial yeah. and here's our rate right. up? Something that we can like, look okay. at just to kind of get a so, feel. So you said, well, I did there's only map years ago. Well, yeah, it seems it was just yesterday, but it was probably five, six years ago. So their zoning map is, you know, they they went through this exercise uh -huh. seven or eight years ago. Can we be privy to I'm saying that? I think that would be good. Yeah. Can you still see my zoning map, right? You've seen my zoning map? Yeah. It's pretty sad. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And that's all I'd have to go by when people submit an application. And I know that um, the guys who did your your impact fee study? No, was it your impact fee study or your water and wastewater master plan? MMS. 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 They had digitized mm -hmm. your zoning map. Mm -hmm. But and is that that's based just on going that off map? of yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just based on that. And that was done back in ninety five. Shouldn't there be a computer program? So yeah, there is. And so um but we just need to look at symbols and I bet I bet it's online. Okay, I'm going to write down Georgetown. Georgetown's a, Georgetown, okay, right. Georgetown and Williamson County, and folks in Williamson County are a special group of folks. I love them dearly because I have lots of friends there, but um, they take themselves very seriously and they have a lot of money. And, they're there. and they, they do have a lot, they do have a lot of history, but so do you guys. Yeah. So um, they just have historically had a lot of money. They have spent a lot of money over the last several decades on planning. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, yeah, like what Jim said, they have a lot of money. Yeah. And they Are there <laughs> anything less that there, gives you some of the functions? There, um, there is. But you don't have it on the But for most of like the just you know this is what you're doing. Today we're talking about looking things up mm -hmm. right. and yeah. just trying to figure out okay what is this zone and oh well let me turn on the aerial here let me turn on future land use map let me turn on the water lines. Mm -hmm. um, you might want to look at farming that out so that it doesn't, she doesn't have to be bothered by you know, trying to keep up with that map. That might be, a lot of cities are moving to just outsourcing that and then it's just it's just out on the web. And so you can get to, you can be, um, you know, you can finish mowing your lawn on a Saturday, mm -hmm. pop open a beer and get online and see where it is. You don't have to come up to City Hall. Mm -hmm. It's all web based. And there's, uh, I can show you that's what we recently did in Copper's Code. We set them up with that, and it makes it a lot easier to. But and the reason I'm explaining that is because right now I'm working on my water and wastewater model. They eventually, I'm going to bring the CAT system server. And I'm talking with her today and saying, I wonder. Once I get all this laid out, I wonder if there's a software oh, yeah. that can overlay and help her with the mapping that I'm going to do to make some maps kind of like this. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, the idea is that, that over time, you know, your planning department's going to develop sure. planning social yeah. future yeah. right. 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 Your city engineer is going to develop uh, new water system maps, oh, new sewer shed maps, new drainage maps, right? Um, well, you can pull all those together into that one software and have it uh, just posted on the website going in so they can and then access it from wherever you are. You can pull it up and read it to the council here. I know, and I'll tell you. I'll send you some of I'm going to put something like that. How far off is it? 
the yeah. one that helps send you. Yeah. No. Right. And, and have um, this. And then you get into a meeting with the, yes, <laughs> they get into a meeting with the developer, and they'll say, "Well, where is there to, you know, yeah. where's that 12-inch water line end? And they, you know, my side's out here. Where does it end? Oh, um, you pull it up. There's something here. Here, we can the road. measure it. You got to come out there at 3,700 feet. Yeah. And then park, park, whatever. Yeah. And and she'll come to me and say, "Let's be a little louder. Some place will do on the road. There's utilities. Stop price more." So, so she had to pull out the old map. Yeah, it's just not updated. I got to go drive. Right. We need to uh, bring this section to a close so we can do our meeting. Do you need anything more from us tonight, Chris? Um, well, here's what we can do. We can, if, if y'all are okay with a, a short deadline, I'm going to take this copy with me because I've made my notes on it. Right. I'm going to leave this copy with y'all. Okay. Um, if we can say my next Wednesday. Um, get me any additional changes that you want to see. Do you want to have a meeting next Wednesday, another workshop? Or um, I don't. You just post, yeah. you just post it. Like it's you post it on the Friday. Friday. Post it, yeah. I think next Wednesday. 17th. I don't know that I need to do another meeting. Okay. And that's true. I think I've actually worn over the last time. Oh, out here? Do we need another meeting like in two uh, weeks? Oh, no, I don't Three weeks? Maybe to look at your stuff on mm -hmm. recommendations on Sunday? Uh, um, Sam? Yeah, let's go let's down two weeks. So there's only 30. I can write here on the 24th of Vegas. And I need to do it. I don't know. That's but it's like two, two acres, two um, acres. So well, it's also, I don't know if we have to have probably, probably, probably 50, I think at this point, I can stop it right now. I can send you well, it may not be that now. Yeah. set of recommendations. Okay, and then if we've got questions, we don't have questions, we don't have questions. Right. 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 You can call me too. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. An acre would be good. They actually had property out in All right. Ridge and so, so you need anything else from us before I switch and say I often call a two minute recess before we can. North Press or Roy Barrera's. I'll just uh, uh, check with Cindy um, by next Wednesday. Ross Barrera's. Ross Barrera's. We'll look at that and if, um, hmm? yeah, there's anything with it. Uh, I have this as a PDF file too. Is it going down here? And I can leave. I know he did North Press. He's got the special limit on the hill behind the Denver. Really? Now, I thought the Hernan had it. He has the Hernan. What's he getting for that one? I think it's a little less expensive. I did two minutes now. We are just going to adjourn at this point, take a two minute recess, and then we will start the. Uh, what do you mean, real two minutes? Well, hey, <laughs> ask my wife. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even going to bring that up. <laughs> 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 what are you going to do? It's a good thing I turned off the recorder. I'm just going to make a quick phone call. Um, it's a good thing. Hey, uh, Thank you. Cindy, we decided. Um, I'm going to give you all until next Wednesday to get me any comments on this future ladies map. I'm going to make the PDF file available to you. Okay. Cool. Um, I have it up right now in my Dropbox folder. Do you guys use Dropbox at all? It's just like a, it's just a, yeah. a shared folder that anybody can get to by invite. Um, so I'll make that available. Um, any comments, you can draw them right on the PDF if you have Acura, um, or you can just type them out, email them back to me. We're going to, in two weeks, I'm going to two send weeks. back a complete map and a set of recommendations. So two weeks from today. Yeah. Could the PDF you have, can we take it in an hour? And do it? Yeah, you can print that. Where, yeah. Two weeks is 24. Dang it, I was going to go for the clothes now. What's your 24? It's on that document. Give me more. I don't want to have anyone in the car. Okay, no problem. That'll work. I want to call them on my back again. This one's good because.
because uh, we've always started to separate about the zoning thing. And I know what I see. It's always good for a good idea. It's hard without the highway number. You can't deny them if they meet all the. They can't. They can't. That's a fact. You know, I get to me. You don't need to meet them. Just meet them. You know what we also need is an appeals board too, so that way yeah, yeah. we need I'm that. I'm I got real upset. I got real upset over the city approving the property. That's a working order. Oh yes, it's just behind.
in Ray Lambert for a great month and uh, soon on with the city. Business. Calls an action to approve the variance on the on final plat for the Durand subdivision. Do we all know why there's a variance? We have already approved this, but just to kind of specify and verify. The council kicked it back because of that little corner. That means they do not have exactly have. Because of that, the 75 foot right. frontage. Right. It does have a depth, and the front is coming out to 59, 52. So you're looking at a, what do you call it, a variance of? 16 feet, 15 foot 10. Right. Mm -hmm. But the way the lot is built is because of the way the row is coming right. down. I have, I have no problem with that at all. Okay. I mean, it's, a, it's... And then what's the, what's the same thing? 59? 59.52. So you're looking at 15.48 square, I mean, 15.48 15 feet variance, short variance. And, uh, I want, uh, I spoke to Eric Rodriguez this afternoon and he wanted me to let the, the committee know that he does not, he uh, doesn't see a problem with this variance. Um, for the reason is the way the shape is, how irregular it is, okay. and then you got the two streets where it's kind of forced. If you were to straighten it out, he actually will say, he's making assumptions though, you're looking at probably it would have probably added another five or seven feet more. Mm -hmm. So he's probably going to still be short five to seven, nah, five feet, maybe seven feet up there of, of frontage. Right. So. But the way the street comes from Peach that turns around to Brilliant, right. yeah. I mean, it doesn't what matter how you right. try to yeah. you're not going to get it. Well, if you took that straight. Yeah, if you put this like this. It would this. be an almost impossible to yeah. you know, cut that corner. Exactly. So. So. Either way, if you do this straight or do that straight, yeah. Can I say something? I will, but it's a chairman's discretion. Please do. So I just want to point out to you guys that your subdivision regulations uh, give you the guidance on how to uh, handle a variance. And um, specifically, it says that no variance shall be approved unless the commission finds that number one, there are special circumstances or conditions affecting the land involved 
such that the strict application of the provisions of the chapter would deprive the applicant of the reasonable use of his land. Number two, that the variance is necessary for the preservation and enjoyment of a substantial property right of the applicant. Yeah. Number three, that granting of the variance will not be detrimental to the public health, safety, or welfare, or injurious to other property in the area. And number four, that the granting of the variance will not have the effect of preventing the orderly subdivision of other land in the area in accordance with the provisions of this chapter. So, uh, technically, what the ordinance is asking you guys to do is make a set of findings. And so, um, if I was your legal counsel, or your, your full-time planner, I would recommend to you that you make these findings in your motion. Oh, okay. you, if you guys are inclined to do so. And when they do, do they need to do all of those findings? Or? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not going to impact anybody. anybody around there. It's not even, there's nobody this way. Um, and then the, the, the ETJ and the river's all the way down here. What's across the street from? Um, well, you got Goliath going straight out and the Peach going back to the town. And what's next to it? Well, I should have taken pictures. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a house, a real old, old house that needs to be repaired across the street from it. That's a room. There's a, a manufactured home, if you want to call it. It's a room. Uh, it's, it's an historical building. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's a kitchen. Yeah, it, it's, it's uh, still owned by yeah. the it was it's never, economic it's developer. Never grown mm -hmm. it's not so there's one little square. Can I see as a matter of fact, the walking trail that they built is right there. Mm -hmm. That's right, there is a walking trail. Yeah. Is it right where? It's right there. The walking trail comes right here and it stops right there. I think it's also important as part of your discussion to think about what the, um, what, what's the intent of, that, of the regulation that they're looking for there. Okay. The, the intent of the regulation is um, to make sure that all the lots have ample width. And at exactly. some point, you have to come up with a number. Exactly. And everybody can look at it. So it's the application of that number to this particular situation, setting it down, trying to string a tape across that uh, particular situation. And, and that's that's where you find, you would have to find the hardship if you're looking to approve this. this well, the hardship is when the city built that road, it took part of that, part of that lab. And this is a dirt, is it like a, 
gravel road, not yes. just gravel road. I just want to see how what it was. No, 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 Okay, because the furthest I've seen people walk is up to there and they come back. Nobody goes all the way to Riverbend. The Indians called me the other day from Riverbend. Where are y'all at? Oh, that's where it is, yeah. And it's actually desic desic that's desiccated. That's tremendous, the boys. Oh. special circumstances or conditions affecting the land involved, such that the strict application of the provisions of this chapter would derive the applicant of reasonable use of his land. Second, the variance is necessary for the preservation and enjoyment of a substantial property right of the applicant. Third, the granting of the variance will not be detrimental to the public health, safety or welfare or injurious to <coughs> other property in the area. For the granting of the variance will not have the effect of preventing the, preventing the orderly subdivision of other land in the area in accordance with the provisions of this chapter. Okay, second. I'll second. <laughs> are, you, are you through? I'll second. All in favour? Could you repeat that? <laughs> Backwards. Yeah. All in favour? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion carried. Now we need to approve the final plat for the Duran subdivision, which should be a, be a bit of a shorter uh, proposal. Now we've done the very. This is cool. Let's steal this. Be surprised with that black book. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I move that we approve the final plat for the drain subdivision. Say it. All in favor? Aye. Uh, motion carries. Adjourn. Adjourn the meeting. Adjourn. I move we adjourn. And I second. Good. That's a quick meeting. Thank you. That's good to that know. Was, uh, That's very helpful. The zone is I'll get Monica. She's the one that attends.